Hey guys, oh welcome back, and if you are new, welcome, and it is so good to have you, and I hope you'll stick around to watch some more of my videos by hitting that little red subscribe button down below. So today, I wanted to come on here and give you some tips on why, what keeps me motivated and wanting to coupon. I do have 10 tips. This will be part, two parts, excuse me. It will be two parts. The first five will be now, and the other five will be a little later, so that way you guys aren't overflowed with information that I'm giving you. So, make sure you hit your notification bell, guys, to be uploaded of when I post that video. So, if you see me, if you see me looking down, I did take notes of what I wanted to tell you guys. So, the first tip is to always keep in mind while you are couponing. You know, mine is we live on a one-income family. We do have three kids. Money can get tight. So, couponing is definitely a way of life here. Number two is remember the days when you paid full price for things. I remember when I was going to Walmart and Rite Aid and never went to CVS, Family Dollar. And Dollar General and all these things, I'm walking out with a couple of bags for like 50 some dollars of toothpaste and shampoo and products that you need to run your house every day. I no longer have to do that, so I always keep that in mind. Number three is to look back on all the money you have saved. What I really like to do when I feel discouraged is I like to go to CVS app or you can go to CVS.com and just take and log in with your extra care card and in the let's see the top right corner it will say you saved and it will be the day you started cvs till the current date i went on there one time and i had saved almost fifteen hundred dollars and i knew that if i hadn't coupon that would be the money that i was having to spend and i do not want to spend fifteen hundred dollars on stuff that simply washes down the drain i would rather put it towards my kids and what my kids want what we want and not that stuff so i always keep that in mind um, number four is to show my children, no matter how difficult some things can be at times, never give up and see things through. So they have seen me guys struggle as a couponer. They have seen me go in stores and deals not work out. They have seen the raw side of couponing. They have seen people be rude. They have seen people be ugly and it is ridiculous, but they have, and they know that I've not gave up. So I'm hoping that they'll say that, you know, mommy didn't give up when things got a little tough, so I'm not going to either. I think that's a super excellent life lesson. Number five is to look at your stockpile and look at products that you're running low on that your family absolutely loves. Like, I can look at my stockpile, and if, you know, Nivea men's body wash, the three-in-one, is running low, I know that I need to get that stocked up. For my little boy because that is his go-to product. He absolutely loves it and it's got to be on my stockpile. Irish Spring, Pantene, you know, my children are very brand loyal to stuff when it comes like that. So I know that if I'm running low, I, it motivates me to want to plan a couponing trip where I'm going to get this stuff for them. The same thing with me and my husband. If I see something I'm running low on that I absolutely love, don't think I'm not going to go out and grab it, guys, if there's a good deal on it. <laughs> I always love, 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 guys, to stock up on laundry detergent because we always need it. I don't think you can ever have enough laundry detergent. You can donate it. You can use it, whatever. Laundry detergent is probably one of my favorite things to keep on for. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these top five tips. Like I said, this will be two parts. So, guys, thanks for watching. As always, give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and happy couponing from my home to yours.